folks, I'm Guy Real, and it's peachy to have you with us. Tonight, exciting things in the world of gas, and not just your grandmother. CO2 is rising faster than your daughter's hemline, and we've got our first reporter back from the field. Apparently, he's been knocking for weeks. This is The Envy. Our top story tonight, the world economy is back on the rails and chugging faster than ever. We live in a carbon economy and it is bad, baby! 2012 saw carbon dioxide emissions increase. That was the second highest in the last 54 years. Emissions jumped by 2.6 parts per million. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like a lot of parts. The news sent Facebook activists in a frenzy, as they were sure they shared at least three three infographics on this very topic, and yet nothing's getting done. <laughs> Analysts credit Clifford the big red dog-eating machine for the CO2 surge. China now consumes 3.3 billion tons of coal in one year, more than the next top 18 countries combined, and they proposed over 300 new coal plants for 2012. In doing so, they've got fans from all over. Harper loves them. Obama can't get enough. And I hear Tibetans are rioting in the streets. But I just can't catch the hype. I feel no matter the success now, they ain't making no Hall of Fame. You just can't keep betting on coal. You can't keep dropping deuces on your own dinner plates. Just ask your friend Charlie Hustle over here. If you keep betting, they're likely to just take it all away. And you'll be stuck trying to pawn off all your rocks just to keep the lights on and the internet censored. Be careful out there. Next up, we've got something new for you. It's our first field report, and I'd just like to take a moment to introduce you all to my senior inside correspondent, William Lying Mackenzie King. Please, call me Bill. Looking a little pale there, Bill. I'll send you some spray tan. Now... When a story is just too dangerous to send the face of the franchise, you phone a friend. If it might kill, call Bill. This is Bomb Strapper. Shelter know that the media is just a patsy for our overlords. So we've committed ourselves to giving you the straight truth with no hidden messages. And I'm about to blow your mind. Today we take on the criminally underreported injustice that faces nature. Yes, nature. We live in an apartheid society that segregates nature and humanity. The only park I need is a car park. Nature has its space and we have our own. It's not that we don't like nature, it's just dangerous and uncivilized. It can't be trusted. Did you know it has bears? And so we give nature a place to play and head back to our capitalist utopia. But somehow, that's still not enough. We're all growing boys and we need more space. So the creeping annexation begins. A marsh here, a mallow there. It's all the same if I can still make s'mores, right? Entire organizations are set up to protect these areas. And nothing can stop the encroachment. God gave us this land and I intend to use it. You know the international community has already been giving nature rights, but still. And what happens to those who dare stand up and say enough is enough? The government's behind them. Ooh, you're a nature supporter. Can I see your credentials? The government has targeted environmental groups, claiming they're laundering foreign funds or trying to remove their charity status. This is how we live. This is our world. That's some solid journalism there, pal. I'm not your pal, guy. This seems to really get your fluids flowing. Well, at least it's not happening to people. Alright, thanks, Bill. Say hi to Pats and Bob for me. And that's all we have here at the NV tonight. It's been a dog-eat-dog -dog show, so good luck, and as always, good night. What's the, what's the, what's the locking, what's the... What? <laughs> hide, hide your kids, hide your wife. Mm, that's the